So we're going to celebrate a little old school love right now, y'all. Well, as soon as we get Randy together. <laughs> Give me that old school loving. Like talking to your boo on a landline into the wee hours of the morning, which pissed your mama off because there was no call waiting or voicemails. Take me back to 1993. It was safe to pull over to holler at a cutie without running the risk of getting carjacked. Or 1975 courting season. Men ask women out for dinner with no pressure for physical contact because the three-month rule was enlisted by both parties. First base wasn't reached until the third date with home run hits popping off on wedding nights. I heard about the 1960s. You didn't have to meet your potential mate at a particular location because he picked you up at your house. Knocked on your door, not your boots with flowers in hand. Followed you outside, placed you in his car, then adjusted your seat. There was no rolling of blunts with Hennessy chasers as a precursor for Netflix and chill. Hashtag, I'm getting lucky tonight. Meeting moms having that Sunday dinner with the fam. Asking pops for his daughter's hand in marriage was a lengthy conversation between men. There were two parent households. Daddy settled in at home after work with money for mama to pay the bills. Technological advances have created lazy loves. Back then it didn't go down in the DM. Love letters were delivered by post. Hinted with a center Chanel number five, sealed with a kiss. I reminisce about the time it was a crime to process X rated photos with Kodak. I'm talking before butt shots and explicit pictures. Yeah. Give me that, give me that, give me that old school loving. Without the baby mama drama with the main sad chick. Expletives were cleverly disguised on the radio from the FCC. Love, couples relayed the words I love you in person instead of by text message with the acronym I-L-Y. Take me back to 1985. My face was in a book. He wasn't concerned with who commented on my pictures or why someone poked me. Social media. We couldn't air our dirty laundry and status messages to collect likes or emoticons. We shared information on a need to know basis because everybody don't need to know. Yes. I remember 1999. There was no cold cracking to unlock dude's cell phone. Women's intuition let me know he was cheating on me. So I use a phone book and a paper map to smoke the cheaters out of hiding. Page the squad with 313-911-304. Then we do a drive by the check them. Yeah, that old school loving. High school sweethearts got married, making the meaning till death do us part. Love was real. Couples prayed together, stayed together. Yeah, give me that, 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 give me that old school loving like we used to do. Because nowadays, there's too many people playing the fool. Yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that old school 
Are y'all ready for the summer jazz? 